Jimmy Tig here with Phoenix Home Inspections. I want to do another episode of Home Inspector and Sensor. So what does that mean? That means I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm thinking without holding back, and I'm going to give you my uh, honest opinion when it comes to a lot of things. And the tonight's topic, and it comes up a lot because I've been getting phone calls, and that's price shopping. Should you price shop? Now, I'm going to tell you when it comes out to buying stuff, I honestly, I do a lot of price shopping. I look on the internet. I find, sometimes you find out things are cheaper in the store than it is to actually buy things online. But the thing is, is when you're talking about product, you're talking about something that comes off the same factory, comes off the same assembly line, has the same quality control. Yeah, absolutely, you go for the cheaper price. But when you're talking about services, I mean, think about it. Have you ever had to get body work done on your car? You know, are you going to take your car to the person that's 300 bucks, or when everybody else is 1200 There's a big reason why that guy's cheaper. Why you've got these companies like Fast Freddy's, it's because they don't put hardeners in their paint. That means if you wash, wax, buff within the first six months, you're going to ruin that paint job. Where my dad that ran a body shop for years, First thing he did after he got done painting his car was he buffed it. And I was like, what do you mean you can't buff your car if you take it to this company? That's the reason why you want to actually look at the quality of service that you're getting. So when you're actually out there price shopping for home inspectors, what you actually should be doing is looking at the reviews because all home inspectors have different unique characteristics or uh, experiences. You're paying for a service and that service varies from company to company. Even these multi-firm, or I'm sorry, these multi-inspector firms, you may have some really good, excellent inspectors that work for these companies, but they also have some that aren't near as good as the others. So you really need to look and do your research on that inspector. My, for example, for me, my background's a little bit different. Uh, I've been a firefighter since 1994. I have studied building construction ever since then. I have been a general contractor. This work that you're seeing in here, this, the electrical, the framing, uh, hopefully before too long I'll get the drywall and stuff up. I, I do all this work. I, I have background in plumbing, electrical, framing. Um, you know, besides being in the fire uh, service sites, I am actually certified as a fire <coughs> inspector, fire uh, investigator. I've had a lot of background. I used to do crawl spaces. I've done handyman work for these realtors. So a lot of experience comes with a lot of different home inspectors. They're going to have different insights. I just did an inspection not too long ago that was a commercialized type building and realized that it met, missed a bunch of fire codes. You know, most home inspectors wouldn't know the knowledge that I have when it came to stuff like that. And it's the same with a lot of other inspectors. So there's a lot of inspectors that come from a very rich electrical background, or maybe they were an HVAC technician, or they were a carpenter, or they did uh, commercial property management. And then you've got other inspectors that just picked the book up one day, studied up, and became a home inspector. You know, they might have did landscaping before they started doing home inspections. So people's backgrounds, their experience, you know, you got somebody that's been doing this for 20, 30 years, that's a great, probably a great individual to look at versus somebody that's maybe fresh right out of the school. But again, you know, fresh out of school, they know the top of the knowledge. But there's a reason why some expense inspectors are a lot cheaper than others. And that has to do with their experience, the background, um, I'd say confidence. You know, so really do your research when you're looking at inspectors. You shouldn't be asking, you know, what's your price? That should not be what you're looking at. Do you want the cheap available inspector that can get you in tomorrow and he's the cheapest? There's a reason why he gets you in tomorrow and he's the cheapest, unless there's a cancellation he just got. I'm usually booked out two weeks, you know, or at least a week. Uh, right now I'm booked up solid a, a week, but come, uh, you know, when it's, everybody's going full blown and they are like, I get to you here in the next day, you might want to wonder why when everybody else is booked out for two weeks. Just things to think about when you're out there price shopping that, you know, price shopping is really not really what you want to base your inspector on. You want somebody that's going to save you a ton of money and give you a peace of mind. And I'll be honest with you, about every inspection I do, 
the value of that report saves them way more money than what that inspection ever costs. But until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.